I'm a fibre artist and I create wildlife-inspired wool sculptures. But it's a simple wire structure that I cover with a pipe cleaner. Once you've got that framework, you have what we call a core wool, which is like a basic soft wool. And we have special needles that have barbs at the end of them. So every time you sort of tap and push into the wool, it compacts the fibres together, it tangles the fibres together. So the more that that compacts, you can then start to sculpt and make shapes. Looking at the muscle tone is really important, understanding the sort of skin. I would say a good piece is probably about 50 hours. So there is a little bit of patience that's required within the piece. It takes a long time, but it's just so rewarding once you finish the piece. So something like that armature, when you build it up, has turned into that piece. I just got completely inspired by needle felting, which was a very strange craft. It's got endless possibilities. It's got very therapeutic qualities to the craft. It's just joyful. The starting point for me, a little bit of research before you get into the project. I enjoy watching wildlife documentaries, understanding sort of the movement, understanding size and scale of the piece that you're creating. Doing sketches and drawings, that's a key thing for me. I enjoy drawing ideas of movement and making decisions as I'm doing the research phase. How does the curve of the back of, say, the elephant look? How big are the ears in proportion to the head? And I do think you need to have a passion for wildlife and an appreciation for the amazing creatures that we have on our planet. Every project that I do, I have such a wealth of, I suppose, inspiration really for the huge amount of wildlife that is out there. Late evenings when I would be working at my craft table and I would be snipping at the wool and the little fibres would just be floating off or the bending of the wire armatures where I'm pushing pressure with my thumb and all the little details that I'm doing. For me, that's the magic 